Sports injuries typically occur while playing in organized sports, sports competitions, training sessions, or organized fitness activities. We spoke with Dr. David Gazaniga at Hogue Memorial Hospital Presbyterian in Newport Beach, who gave us more information about what the most common sports injuries are. Our most common injuries in sports have to do with typically sprains, muscle injuries, soft tissue type of injuries. Uh, a sprain is really uh, um, any kind of ligament injury to any joint. The most common uh, would be a sprained ankle. Not all injuries can be prevented, obviously, but uh, most can be prevented by proper warming up, proper uh, preparation for exercise. Who is the most susceptible to sports injury? Sports injuries fall under such a broad category. There are the acute uh, injuries, and then there are the chronic overuse type of injuries. Any motion that's repetitive, tennis, overhand, uh, especially serving, puts a lot of strain on the shoulder. Golf, a repeated activity, which can give you problems with your back, your elbows, your wrists. Um, these are things that, um, over time, can cause problems. So when you're looking at sports injuries, it falls under a very broad category. As you're younger, you have an injury to growth plates, obviously. Um, there very seldom will have significant sprains. Then you get into the, the higher velocity type of sports as kids get older through the high school years. Then you start having more significant ligamentous injuries. And then in the a population in an advanced age, uh, you have to be careful about things like arthritis, um, you have stress fractures. You see people at younger ages playing sports not necessarily just for the fun of it, but actually as, um, as more of an occupation, even at young ages. And so that creates um, increased competition, increased you know, levels of training. And so these kids are now um, putting themselves at greater risk than kids in previous generations. And you have overuse injuries, which we never saw before in athletes. As this society, I would say, uh, pushes kids to, to be more successful in their sport that, they're, that they excel in, they tend to specialize, over-specialize in one sport. Kids are getting injuries at uh, 12 to 16 years old that you didn't typically see until people were in their 20s to 30s. When would surgery be necessary for a sports injury? The time to operate is when the injury is either going to cause further damage if it's not cared for, uh, or if the level of activity is not sufficient for the patient. It's a question that depends greatly on the injury, um, who is injured, and what their capacity for recovery is. Now, just because someone's advanced in age doesn't mean that they can't recover from athletic injuries. Um, but if you have someone that has an arthritic problem, let's say, and they have some other um, acute injury on top of that, their ability to recover from the acute injury uh, won't necessarily make them um, you know, better than they were before. They'll still have the arthritis. Uh, whereas if you take a youthful population, someone in their teens, 20s, what have you, and they have a, uh, an injury, you would anticipate getting them back to their full level of activity, and that's, that's the margin of measure for their, their success, my success in taking care of them, uh, and their success in recovering from it is whether or not they can get back to the same level of activity or better. Anything short of that is usually not acceptable.